I I know what I want to do. I just don't want to do it the traditional way. Taking the leap of gallery wasn't an easy decision. I don't want to do for the sake of doing it or for the sake of okay, um, let's create another thing. I truly want to do it in a way that truly benefits um, artists. I'm very excited to see how we've grown, and I I really hope we do grow more. That is something that I always always um, speak about, which is being very transparent of my own journey of how everything is happening. I love what India has to offer, and I know that all countries, specifically Southeast Asia, has a lot of traditional art and craft that. Oh my god that's mind blowing that the world needs and i want to contribute to that bit this is your host charaka i'm very excited to be back on the podcast with a new episode and i am recording after a while i think um after a couple of weeks actually because you know the gallery thing was happening uh, i was doing my own solo show we were launching the ath gallery and you know there was so much happening that uh, um i decided that i needed to take a gap to focus that energy on the other projects that we were working on and now since all of that has been done um we are back on the recording schedule i have a couple of recordings for today and before i get you know in the swing of recordings and forget things that i actually need to do i thought i'll come here and talk about a few things and give you an update on everything that's been happening so i'm recording in my studio room and i have this beautiful window and everyone who's watching this on youtube can probably see this better uh and if you're not watching on youtube and you haven't subscribed yet please do um please subscribe um and make sure that uh, you are on our channel so yeah how i was saying i have a window here i can see water and you know there's like a lot of uh, sunlight and it's it's beautiful so it's giving me a little bit of distraction okay back to the topic um what's been happening um as of as of you know now uh what we're working on at ath we're working on quite a few exciting services we just launched our artist portfolio service artist bio service and artist uh, statement services and this was so much like i felt like why didn't i notice this before like it was so um so how this happened was we were working on the ath um, studio visit book and the ath issue 3 as we were working on this and i am designing this um myself and i think um this just didn't come to my notice and that is why i also think like so many times that it is so important to do things on your own and see the details and nitigities off that and that's what happened when i was um when i was you know working on the book thankfully it's finished now goodness i can't even tell you how happy about i i am about that so while i was working on the book i was looking at everybody's artist statement and bio and i was like i just felt like oh my god there is such a huge gap there so and we actually while i was um i was editing the entire book and making the book um rabia who you know is my teammate we were both continually on the call together and you know i would um, tell her okay this is not a good cv or you know good statement and we need like a crisper one and there's you know so much missing and so much um, you know there were so many extra details so many missing details and they were not edited enough they were not focused enough and i felt like um while i was editing i i always felt like okay you know what this book is going to go around you know the world and i don't want anyone who's been published here to miss that chance to you know give that message to their audience about what they are doing and so we decided that you know we'll keep editing the ones that we can and in that process we edited we ended up editing a lot of the content and it made me realize that um this is so much needed in the industry right now so what happened was that i thought like you know this um there's such a huge gap artists really um don't know what to go where to go and when while you're submitting to either you're reaching out to a gallery or you're reaching out um to let's say you know you're applying for an open call or you're sending your portfolio anywhere i think your artist statement and your bio is what speaks for you because you're not always there you can't always speak for yourself and you know the portfolio you send um 
the whole packaging like you know this is your voice and i feel like so many so many submissions that we receive are not focused towards it artists are missing a lot on the table even while you know their work is being seen by a lot of relevant right people the work doesn't speak for itself because the images come later people you know go dive into your website your artist statement your bio and they look at what you've said you know just you know setting context to that image um that you've submitted and i realized that okay we have the capacity we have a team of writers i'm there um we have the experience we've been doing this so long we've recently launched uh, services for artists which has artist statement artist bio services and portfolio services so we've also figured in this way some someone who you know you know like me i am someone who i would either do it myself or i'd be like okay i don't have the time to learn this um and as of now i want you to help me do this yeah so we have consultation we have editing service we have full scratch end to end we you know we our entire team at arts to hearts gets at your disposal so that you know we can write that perfect statement bring that perfect portfolio and you know make all of that possible for you and i really hope this brings value and i hope this helps artists um you know make the most of their opportunities that they're submitting to you know to if you're whether reaching out to a gallery or you know you're sending floating your CVs around or your portfolios around i think it will be really helpful apart from that um we had the gallery show it was very very exciting it was um it was really like um a huge learning curve to be honest um i set up the whole gallery from end to end you know there were so many logistics that we had to figure out um that you know the setting up of um, you know the whole channel system like you know we i and it was so strange and I, you know like um it was so strange to do this because i remember um i made the arts to hearts logo myself and it's not the first logo i've ever made um i've made several logos and only couple of them have actually lived up to like a huge level which is um one the other company that i have uh, with my friends which is business which is based in india which is a you know which is doing pretty well and i hope we keep doing the good work and i still remember like um because all of this was happening all at the same time uh we were celebrating 8 years of business here in india of the company um in the meanwhile we were also setting up arts to hearts project um um boards and the gallery and you know that brought a lot of those ideas to life um we had the light board and i could see like literally the evolution of the logo i had brought and you know how i made all of that i did the first logo i did the second logo you know the website and all of that and it felt so like it was so nice and beautiful and i felt like oh my god i really like something that something sometimes is just born out of nothing i remember um during covid i was i was very depressed i was very lonely and i thought okay i mean you know i might as well um just create something rather than um crib about it and i start arts to hearts as a community and i wanted to engage with people connect and you know all of that and i'm very excited to see how we've grown and i i really hope we do grow more um the gallery has been a great experience so far we do have a lot of um, thoughts on how we can scale this and with with a hundred percent transparency i think that is something that i always always um speak about which is being very transparent of my own journey of how everything is happening um taking the leap of gallery wasn't an easy decision and even today i'm not you know i'm not like i i know of what i want to do i just don't want to do it the traditional way i think that is that is my key um i don't want to do for the sake of doing it or for the sake of okay um let's create another thing i truly want to do it in a way that truly benefits um artist and this was one of the reason i did my own show first i truly wanted to understand being in the artist shoes and being on the gallery shoes and see what are the advantages and disadvantages in both the process how as a business am i making loss um uh, what i'm doing and how as a artist am i getting benefits i have a, quite a few exciting ideas actually with the gallery in the sense of not doing it the traditional way 
and really experimenting so that um you know artists can have access to dif- different corporate houses different offices and maybe i can use my own resources here and um different markets and i think um it's a great addition for artists themselves to have like you know um and an exposure to their um cvs to an international market and not only that i think um i really want to use technology as another medium to um support artists with selling their work also so we will be focusing definitely focusing on that um also building building an inner collective circle and bringing people together of course not we've had we have a beautiful artist community and i'm grateful for all of you who listen to us every single week and i was like okay maybe um let's take this a little up a higher notch and we're still working on that so yes i don't think i exactly have all the answers when it came, comes to the gallery and how i want to run it how we want to expand it and i think just the face of it um sometimes you have an idea on okay you want to do this but there's the traditional way i know does not suit me i know that there needs to be a better way as a business for me as as a as an artist for me and as an artist for all of us that is not a loss making for you know for any anyone and you know running a gallery is a huge huge cost and now i understand where other people come from uh, there's a huge marketing cost huge investment a fixed cost that has nothing like you know you and i'm i'm trying to solve those issues and see how we can you know come up with a creative solution so i'll keep you updated the meanwhile we're also working on bringing you know underrepresented artists online via our platform and we'll we think doing ath market where um, we are every week we'll come up with an artist or a month i don't know we still have a lot to figure out and so that you can you know we can support traditional indigenous crafts and indigenous arts and traditional artists as well um i love i love what india has to offer and i know that all countries specifically southeast asia has a lot of traditional art and craft that oh my god that's mind blowing that the world needs and i want to contribute to that bit so yes um so yeah i mean um, that is about that and what else is happening i've spoken for 12 minutes that's great um i am traveling a lot i'm moving um a lot again delhi uh, that's been taken a quarter of quite a bit of my own time we're building our towards as a bigger team which is very exciting and hard we are looking for right people to work with us um with my own practice i'm very 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 happy with how modern maharani's turned out um and i do think i think i work great with pressure it's strange to say that but yes i've always realized and i remember rabi also telling me this ki i work better with um with pressure my efficiency goes uh, way better so that's been interesting and yeah i think that's from my end there's everything that's happening uh we're working on the studio visit book we've almost done and we'll be sending out all the emails and it'll be out soon and it's so exciting we're doing a oh yes we're doing a call for art i remember i forgot that completely we did a artist award which was very exciting and um i'm very excited to announce the results for that and we'll come up with this opportunity again for sure and the studio visit book was such an amazing response i can't believe it like it was so 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 amazing and nice and we have a next curator already decided and i love her you know guess tell me who is it if you're listening to this episode tell me who that is and um maybe we'll we'll surprise you yeah so it is an exciting experience it's been it's been such like it's like oh god it's like oh this movement like so many highs and so many lows and every day i get up and i'm like oh god i need to take care of this yet again the international shipping of every order i've been literally tracking day and night and it's been a oh god it's been a mess um don't ask me i hate that part um in i think yeah i think uh, to sum it up anyone who's listening and you know always we look on the other side and i i put up a post yesterday also because i haven't myself like posting a lot on my own personal instagram and i feel like i just don't feel i just it feels so daunting it feels so hard my brain is just not there because i've been moving a lot there's so many projects that are happening and so many deadlines i feel like i've cook i have to continually meet i just am not able to put that effort and love into my own 
social media i love my studio time that's for me and just the logistic of you know making everything you know recording everything is just not easy um i don't i still don't feel as like i like the privacy of my moments and i enjoy that so yeah that i've been working on and to sum it up i think the last few months have been very very and exciting and lulls and dulls and confusing and expensive and mistakes and learnings and that's how i think life is um but i'm grateful to be able to do this with people i love um i have an amazing team uh there's so many laughters so many cries that we have together and that means a lot to me i'm grateful that i did the modern marani show for my mom i knew that i wanted to do that for my mother and i'm very 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 happy that i i was actually able to give this as an ode to her and i've made this a promise to myself that every year i'm going to do something like this on her death anniversary as like you know as my she always wanted me to do good and as my gift as my like just you know always saying a thank you to her so yeah that's that i'm very interested in listening from your end i know um there's so many of you who listen to this podcast every week and i don't come as often because i feel like you know i mean who's interested in listening to me i mean let's do interviews let's do that and i finally um i actually am recording this as i started like i thought i would you know share a couple of minutes as an intro and everything and the guest was supposed to come but looks like the guest just didn't show up and that is oh my god the oops like you know the behind the scenes of you know doing things so if you think um you have uh, you're afraid of things and you know you have those dull moments we all do my guest just didn't show up and my entire schedule is worked around these recordings and when people don't show up it's so it's just so disappointing honestly but i'm glad i this time i'm glad i made the most of it because i actually recorded this and i hope you'd let me know like you know i really want to hear from you um what else can we do how do you have anything to share about arts to us why don't you send us a message leave us a review just just you know i think sometimes the work that you do we are so always hustling and moving forward and i'm a person who likes movement but i love to rest i love to take a moment and look around and look at the flowers and talk to people and this is me calling you out um i'm here on this road and i'm looking at these flowers and i'm looking at all of you and i want to hear what you think um are you if you've been with us on this journey um tell me if you have any thoughts what you think about the work that we do do you have any thoughts on what we should do next and do you want to hear from me and if you do um let me know what you want to hear from me and i'll try to do more of these episodes in the meanwhile thank you so much for listening to the arts to hearts podcast thank you for supporting our work thank you so much for everything that you do and just showing up here every week i think that in itself is something we are very very grateful for and if you like what we do make sure that you can subscribe leave us a review um participate in whatever way you like and make the most of um you know the life that we are living we i think we're all very privileged to have this gift of creativity and let's make the most of it together bye bye